guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you some new sequins, some refills, and basically my storage. So my storage containers are these little plastic things. They kind of remind me of Tic Tac containers. Um, so I'm taking my label maker. I got this recently from Aldi. It was on offer for £15. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print out the labels for all my pretty pink posh sequins and jewel mixes because I do store them back in their original packaging and you know I don't necessarily reach for them as much because they're not all together if that makes sense so as you can see I'm just printing out my label the only downfall with this label maker though I have to admit is the fact that it leaves such big gaps but I think I've come with a way to like stop that happening so when you print out your first one just push your label back a little bit back into the reel that it is in and it'll work um so I'm just filling up my little containers and using a teaspoon. Honestly, I find this is the easier way for me. Um, you do see me make a mess in a little bit, but it works just the same. Um, you can use a funnel or whatever you use. Um, so I do have like some like sequin mixes like from Picket Bent Studios, and I was contemplating like whether or not I wanted to put them into the same kind of containers, um, but I ended up going against it because they're. The containers they come in are very easy to organise and stuff as well, so I've left it. So I'm just going to cut my lib labels to the size that I need for the container. So for any of the sequin mixes or anything that I use from Pretty Pink Posh, I've put three P's at the end of the name of the colour or the, the theme of it. And basically I'm just going to put that together so I know they're from Pretty Pink Posh. Um, so most of my sequins either come from Pretty Pink Posh or they come from Little Things by Lucy's. Um, so I will link down below where I get all my sequins and stuff from. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the colours that I use, let me know down in the comments and I will get back in contact with you about that. Um, so yeah, no, I'm still learning how to use my label maker. So I have a love-hate relationship with this at the moment. But I do have some sequins left over, so all I do is I add adhesive which is double sided tape back onto the original packaging and then I just stick it back down so I don't lose them I mean I know where they've come from as well um some of these obviously fit all in the little small containers um but some don't so I just worked through it so this is quite a long video considering but when it gets to about I don't know I think it's like 30 minutes in um you will see me talk about some new products and show you some new embellishments that I found um so yeah no I have some that I need to rebuy um because I ran out um once I've refilled these ones um and as you can see right now I just realized that I have two sugar plum mixes so I've put an s on this as well this one because it's a sequin mix where the other one is a jewel mix so it's just easier to do it this way um honestly um, apologies if you hear any pinging or anything in the background. Um, I just posted a video like five, ten minutes ago and a lot of people are commenting on it. So, you know, it's, <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, that's basically what happens. I will post on all my social media platforms. So I am a part of about, I want to say 12 different Facebook groups just for card making. And I think that literally is all my Facebook feed is. Like, I don't even see, like, things from my friends anymore because it's literally just, like, cards taken over. <laughs> but then again, half of my friends I don't talk to as much as I used to anyways. And I think that's just part of growing up. Um, but yeah, somebody actually asked me over on Instagram, like, you know, how did you get so much video content done and all of this? And the simple reason for that is I am very against socialising. I don't try to be um I suffer from social anxiety so going into an unknown environment with unknown people just isn't for me um it's like I wanted to have a birthday party with all my friends and family and then I realized like most of my family can't be there due to health reasons or they're going away um and I kind of have a couple of friends and we don't really talk that much so it could be kind of awkward so I just decided to cancel it all together <laughs> so um yeah I'm just very social conscious, I guess you could say. So, like, I wasn't always, like, so scared to hang around with people. I think growing up, I was probably 
just pushed in that direction more than anything because like my mom and that we moved so much and I just decided that it was so hard to keep making friends and then moving somewhere else so I just decided to stop making friends um but at primary school I used to hang around with the same group of people you know and then when we went to high school together I kind of thought it was going to be the same you know we would obviously get more friends and stuff but we would still stick together and it turns out the people that I thought were my best friends for the five years we were at school together actually turned against me and started bullying me so that kind of pushes me into not trusting people anymore you know considering we've known each other for five years and then on literally the first day of high school you know to become popular and not be judged or anything you decided to go in a different route and start to bully people so I was against everything about it um so I'm not exactly happy about the person it's made me into but in other social aspects I guess I'm not too disappointed because I can kind of sympathize with other people now that struggle with it and I can also kind of explain it better to like parents I guess because like I've been on both sides of it so you know sometimes I'll struggle other times I won't and I think everybody has like first aid jitters I guess you call it but I do have to admit sometimes just having one person around me that I don't really like or know or I get a vibe off I will just not want to be going to that place anymore and that's literally all it is so I feel like I'm rambling a lot <laughs> guys I just don't know what you want me to talk about with me just doing this because it's literally just me filling up sequin tubs and stuff but um my containers actually are off ebay by the way guys so i just typed in storage sequin containers and this is what came up and for the price i thought you know what we're not going to complain so i bought one for myself um and then you know i actually no i didn't i bought one for my i was gonna buy one for myself and then obviously my birthday rolled around and everyone was like oh what do you want for your birthday and i was like oh okay um so i asked my aunt and my uncle um, to purchase one of two items so they had to discuss it with each other to decide who was getting which and they ended up getting two sequin tops instead so I ended up having to buy one of the other things anyways um so yeah but the sequin things really do come in handy and yeah so no I do suffer from social anxiety I also suffer from depression um which a lot, a lot of people know because like when they see me I'm always laughing I'm always smiling it's just my my mask I guess you could call it um I just don't know how to act any other way because it's like the other week um I actually just felt so alone and so down like I literally just started crying on the bus on the way home for no reason and I was like okay what's going on like I I'm not really much of a crying person I know it sounds really weird but I don't I just don't see the point of it because like it doesn't solve any of the issues or anything so I try not to cry as much as I used to and then when I do cry I cry behind closed doors so I can't be judged but for some reason this day I literally just broke down crying on the bus and luckily for me I know how to cry silently so nobody saw but yeah anyways so here's my little container this is where all my little leftovers go so I'm going to refill all my containers now so as you can see I'm just going to match them up which is easier said than done because sometimes my labels disappear but yeah no so I do suffer from depression guys um so I'm trying to think of something that I could do to help like other people that's been in my 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 situation um and actually a lot of UP UP <laughs> a lot of people from Instagram saw my story and I was like I just didn't know whether or not I could be bothered anymore to keep going like nothing was being different and that's something else that I really wish I didn't do is I will go on to my friends and I'll see what their lives are doing and I start to compare my life to them and that's not something anybody should do because that just makes you feel even worse about yourself because they might be achieving something that you're not like I was the oldest out of all the people that I used to hang around with you know and to see like every one of them either they're married or they have children or you know they're they have 
they've gone to the army or some of them are doing drugs which isn't something I would recommend but you know it just shows how much can change and I feel like I haven't moved since I left high school I've literally been doing the same things over and over but then I realized the other day I was like I'm I wasn't doing YouTube when I left the, the, the group so that is an achievement in itself and I'm like why didn't I even register that so I want to take the time to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel and watching my videos if you could do me a favor though make sure you like and subscribe if you aren't and hit the notification bell it really helps me out um also go over to my instagram follow me over there and i will talk to you if you want to message me and if you struggle with anxiety or depression definitely tell me over there and we can talk and we can help each other out so as you can see i'm just digging through this little container right now <laughs> um, so i have so many embellishments like i didn't even realize until i got them all out yesterday i was like oh my god i think i have a bit of an obsession with embellishments so Right now, at the top of the screen, I just noticed that you can see an embellishment packet, which isn't open. There's a reason for that. So I ordered them in January, and they didn't turn up. So she resent them to me. And then, for some reason, I added them back into my basket, because I forgot she sent them me. Um, and I misplaced them, so I ordered them again. Um, and then I found them, and I was like, oh. I already had them. Okay, so I have two of those now. So hopefully there will be an embellishment frenzy for that color. Um, but yeah, I'm just filling up the ones that I use the most, which are moonstones, raindrops, bubbles, and black pearls. They're my most go-to embellishments, I've noticed, by Little Things by Lucy's. Now, if you don't know who Little Things by Lucy's is, I will definitely recommend her. She is an amazing embellishment sequin person. She does do cards, um, personally I don't buy them, but obviously other people might. So I definitely recommend her. Um, I actually asked her, because she keeps bringing out, like, new collections and stuff, and I was like, I'm really looking for somebody to do, like, grey pearls or something. Like, without the gloss or the shine of, like, silver in it. Like, I just want a matte white and grey pearl mix. And she actually designed one just for me in mind. Um, so she said she's gonna see how it sells. And obviously, hopefully it's a bestseller, <laughs> at least. Um, but yeah, so I definitely can't wait to purchase that one. So you'll probably see that over on my Instagram if you follow me there. Um, but yeah, I do have quite a lot of embellishments. I think there's only like one company that I only have one like sequin set from, and that's Catherine Pooler. Like, everybody brags to me about how good Catherine Pooler stuff are, and I've just never really agreed with the prices of everything so it's like four pounds for one sequin mix that I purchased and I was like for that I could have got two from Little Things by Lucy's or I could have got some off eBay for that you know it's just little things like that um but yeah so anyways <laughs> rambling again for you guys there we go so once I finish filling these up you will eventually now see my newest collection that I bought so I wanted to do a craft haul all the way through January, all the way through February. Um, but like I said, I was waiting for some parcels to turn up and they just didn't turn up on time. So I'm going to be doing it for the end of March. I don't know if this video is going to go up before or after that. Um, but yeah, so here are all my new embellishments that I've ordered. So we have Glossy Mint, which is a pearls. We also have Rainforest. Again, this is a crystal collection. We have Lil Lilac Sparkle. I don't know how you pronounce this, so I'm not even attempting, but it's a nice yellow colour. We have Love in a Mist. And then we have Glossy Daphne, Vintage Rose, Rouge or Rojo. I call it Rojo because it's Spanish for red. Peachy, Lily of the Valley, and then um, I think it's Dark. Dark Saffron, or da Dark Sapphire, even. So... As you can see, I do have a collection of Sky Pearls from Pretty Pink Posh, but they're just a different hint of blue, so I was kind of worried. But this is what it looks like when I've done. So this is all my sequins that I bought from the range and stuff over the time that I've been doing my crafting. And I'm going to use them mostly for, like, shaker cards and stuff because, like, I'm, they're not expensive or anything. And I can just, like, refill them as and when I need them. So I just made a big label with the word sequins on it, so I can just pick that up as and when I need it. And as you notice, that's not even straight, but there we go. 
that's the story of my life <laughs> can never get anything lined up and then this is all my pretty pink posh and little things by lucy's so the front column is literally all whites and clears and then it goes to color after it so this one i've put the label embellishments on and then i also put the label little things by lucy's and then pretty pink posh as well so i know where all these have come from and basically if i ever ask my mom to go up into my craft room and get something for me because like at the weekends i don't go into my craft room that's like two days where i kind of take some time off um but i don't i end up like watching a lot of videos or something um i just realized i'm talking really fast sorry about that <laughs> i've been watching this like viral instagram story thing where it says if you can sing the song um you're a fast talker and i didn't even realize like i'm really a fast talker so sorry guys if i ever am talking too fast just let me know down in the comments and i will try and slow down the next time and if you just heard two clicks then that was my elbows oh that really hurt <laughs> that's something that happens a lot for me um but yeah so that is it for this video guys sorry if you weren't interested about me rambling and stuff um i apologize but I just want people to know like they're not alone like even though I knew when I was feeling down that I wasn't alone that there was people who were experienced the same it's just nice to know that there are some people out there so if you're one of those and you need some help or advice or just want to talk go message me over on Instagram and I will definitely be there for you but otherwise guys I will see you in my next video stay safe and happy crafting